Okay. So a um, an arc is a portion around a circle. So let's say that I have a this circle here is a lake, and I start here, and I walk around the lake. Careful not to fall in. How far do I walk? Well, I walk the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. Some of you may know this as pi times diameter d, since 2 times the radius is diameter. Uh, I'm going to be using 2 pi r, though. Now, if we don't walk around the entire distance, we walk around a portion. We call those portions of the circle arcs. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find the arc length. Now what we want to do here is we want to find out the minor arc length. There are always going to be, um, well, for us, there's going to be two different arcs. There's going to be the smaller and the larger. As you can see, this arc in green is larger, it's longer than the arc in yellow. The arc in green is what we call the major arc because it's larger. And the, gr the yellow arc is the minor arc because it's smaller. If you have the arcs split 50-50, then it's a semicircle. So what we are going to do is we are going to find the length of this arc. Now again, if I walk around the entire length of the circle, that's 2 pi r. However, this is just a fraction of that distance. If you think about a circle being 360 degrees around, I only have 150 degrees to walk. So I literally have 150 360ths. So what we do is we take that and we multiply it by the circumference, 2 pi r. So the general formula that we have is whatever that central angle is, which we call theta. We divide it by 360 and multiply by 2 pi r. So for this problem, we have 150 divided by 360 times 2 pi times 13. Now we don't want a decimal. We could easily put this into a calculator and get a, a nice number, um, but we don't want that. We want an exact value. When we have an exact value, we basically want a fraction. So pi is near rational number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that off at the end. I'm going to multiply these fractions. So I get 150 over 360 times 2 times 13, which is 26 over 1 times pi. And at the very end, I'm going to include pi in this fraction. So we start reducing these fractions. So I see that I have 150 over 360. I can divide these both by 10 and get 15 over 36. 15 and 36 both have a common factor of 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 36 divided by 3 is 12. Reducing this, because it's getting a little bit messy, I get 5 over 12 times 26 over 1 times pi. Again, if we multiply these fractions, 12 and 26 both have a common factor of 2. So 12 divided by 6, sorry, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 26 divided by 2 is 13. So I have now two reduced fractions, and when I multiply these, I can multiply straight across numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So in my numerator, I have 5 times 13, which is 65. My denominator, I have 6 times 1 which is 6, and times pi, which I can put in the numerator. Because I'm talking about length and the radius was in centimeters, I now have the arc length, L, to be 65 over 6 centimeters. 65 pi over 6 centimeters. This is my completed answer. Note that it is a fraction with pi and not an irrational number with a long decimal. So the key with this is to know the formula, but once you have this, it really just becomes a matter of 
multiplying and reducing fractions.